They are having breakfast. They're having meat for breakfast, everybody. Two lions. And apparently they are a part of a coalition of six male lions, but they are not alone. They are surrounded by many, many, many hyenas. And I am surprised that this number of hyenas has been unable to scuttle the lions. Scatter them, I mean, I don't mean scuttle them, as in sink them like a ship. And there are lots there, and there are lots more to the left, and there seem to be more. I would have put these guys at around about three and a half years old, the lions, but they're obviously too much of a terrifying prospect for the hyenas. Although that said, you know, the hyenas here eat so much. Ferg, look at them streaming in from the... I mean, streaming, two or three of them, more of them coming in from just over the top there. Those aren't hyenas, are they? They seem to be warthogs. <laughs> it's also making their way to the carcass. Anyway. We were given reports of this by somebody. He pointed at a tree and he said, under there, just go there, you'll find lions eating. And sure enough, under the tree, well, near the tree, the lions are eating. Now, we operate here almost entirely without a radio because it is the radio here operates with rapid-fire Swahili, uh, which I certainly can't pick up just yet. I think Scott's probably got a relatively good chance of picking it up, but we just drive past people, they point, and then you find it is amazing. And that sort of ground or landscape that you can see way in the distance, that's the escarpment upon which we live. And it, that's the Mara Triangle, so that's the other side of the Mara River. Oh, the spectacular. But they are not part of the pride. Now, Nikki, you say when will they be big enough to take over a territory? It all depends on the territory, who owns it at the time, and whether they stay together. A little co a coalition of six would probably take over a territory more quickly than a coalition of two or three, for example, because, of course, they can defend themselves. They're much more effective as fighters than they're much more prepared to take risks. So I think that this group, when they hit sort of four and a half or five years old, maybe, uh, I think that they would be well well capable of taking a territory. And we saw the same with the Birmingham boys back at Juma. There were five to start with, and they put those Matimba males to flight very quickly, and they were still quite young. They were about five years old, I thought, when they came into our area, which was in the winter two years ago, which immediately puts them at seven. Isn't that amazing? Can't believe they've been with us two years already. Hello, Mr. P in Canada. You're wondering about the distance between the hyenas and the lions. I'd say the closest hyena is probably about ooh, 100 feet or so away, 30 meters, maybe 40 meters. They'll get bolder and bolder as time goes on. I d they may also have already eaten a bit from this carcass. Well, they'll, they'll sort of edge closer and closer, almost imperceptibly until one of the lions loses his temper and then they'll sort of scarper off into the grassland.
Now, Amita, you're just eight years old, and I wonder if I didn't hear from you during our TV show. I think I did. I think that you named our lioness. You named her... Wait, I'll find out. We can see, Amita, I think about 15 or so hyenas in this area. I'd say we'll get Fergus to pan from side to side and you can count them for us. I'm just checking here for myself. Yes, it was Meter eight years old. You said Jelani or Mighty is what we should call the lioness that has the two little cubs and the nick out of her left ear. Thank you for getting hold of us. I'm glad you're watching us on the internet as well. That's great. You make sure you ask us another question when we're on air on TV this week. If you